Yeah, what this video is going to be about is how to properly diagnose an engine misfire. This is a 2001 Honda Prelude with a 2.2 liter four cylinder in it. And in this video, I'm going to focus on compression problems. I'm not going to really look at ignition and uh, fuel system problems. So one of the first things you're going to want to look at is well, use a scanner and look at the codes. Let's see if we can see this here. It says there's a misfire in cylinder 1 and 2. Some cars it'll just give you the P0300 code that's a random misfire. And some cars you can actually look at the data for each cylinder. But this doesn't actually tell us if there's a fuel system or ignition problem or compression problem. So what we actually want to do next is a relative compression test. Another thing I normally do on any car I work on that doesn't run right is I'll hook a vacuum gauge up to it. And if it's got low vacuum, I know there's an uh, internal engine problem or a, a timing belt's on wrong. But on this car, I already know there's a misfire, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, and to do a relative compression test, we use an, uh, a oscilloscope. This is Snap-on Vantage Pro. And you'll also need a high amp probe. Snap-on doesn't make one. This came from a company called AESWave.com. It sells for $99. You can Snap-on does make a low amp probe, which you can use that also as long as it'll go over the battery cables because this isn't very big. You don't really want to use one of these uh, regular compression testers because on any 96 and newer car, it's very sensitive. If the compression's off a little bit, it'll have a misfire, and you might not see it on a regular compression tester. Okay, and before you do a compression test, on it, even with the other uh, tester, you need to uh, disable the fuel pump or the injectors. On this car, it was easy to get to the injectors, so I just unplugged them. Yeah, and this just clamps around the wire going to the starter. Now, I hooked this up to the starter because I can't run this all the way inside the car to crank it over. I have one of those buttons, I just didn't feel like get going into the other garage to get it. So in each one of these peaks here is when the piston reaches top dead center on the compression stroke because the, dr the starter draws more current when that happens. So you can see that there's one that's way down here, so there's something wrong. Also the reason for disabling the fuel system is you don't want to crank it over and have gas wash the oil off the rings because you'll get a, a, not an accurate rating when you do a compression test. And also if you don't know how to get the voltage set right, if it's going completely off the screen you just need to increase the voltage. If it's going the line just across the bottom and it's not doing nothing you want to decrease the voltage. And the time, if you're seeing like one peak across the screen you need to uh, increase the time and if you're just seeing too many then you need to decrease the time. It's very simple to get these settings right. And I've cranked it over and froze it by hitting this button up here so that I can show you this. And also when you crank it over you can hear there's something wrong. Okay so I have channel 2 on the oscilloscope hooked up to number 1 spark plug wire and it appears that number three fires second and if you look at this this is uh, cylinder one and cylinder three is the one where it goes down so cylinder three is dead you could also take this and move it around to cylinder three we'll do that and see what it does okay and on a car that doesn't have a distributor or a regular coil with wires on it what you'd do, if it's got a coil over plug, you'd hook the oscilloscope up to the negative side of each coil you could do it. Which would work exactly the same as how I did this. Okay, so now I move this to cylinder 3. And as you can see, it's hard to see this here, but it lines up with the part that goes down. So it's cylinder 3 and this car is dead. That's why you always want to check this before you start replacing parts on a car. Yeah, and also, if I had taken the uh, spark plug wire off on that cylinder and grounded it out, the waveform on the oscilloscope for channel 2 would have been better. Yeah, and here is all the information for that company that made that high amp probe. 